If you forget your phone charger at home, go to the airport lost and found first before purchasing one at the airport. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually part two of my watch this before you fly travel tips video. So if you haven't watched part one yet, you can watch that next. The link will be listed in my description. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, make a color copy of your passport or driver's license and take with you in case you lose the original while traveling. Also email a copy to yourself so that you have an electronic copy saved. Tip number two, if you're checking in luggage and you want to know if it meets the weight requirement before you arrive at the airport, invest in a portable luggage weight scale. Check with your airline first on their weight limit because if your luggage exceeds the limit, the airlines charge an additional overweight fee. Tip number three, if you're checking in luggage, take a picture of your luggage inside and out just in case it gets lost. So when authorities ask what your luggage looks like, you will be able to show them. Tip number four, if you're checking in luggage, remember to remove old barcode stickers and bag tags from the outside of your luggage before returning home or your next trip. This will avoid the wrong barcode getting scanned and your luggage possibly ending up in the wrong city or country. Tip number five, once you've gone through the security checkpoint, go straight to your gate first before stopping for food or shopping so that you know where it is. Tip number six, if you forget your phone charger at home, go to the airport lost and found first before purchasing one at the airport. If after 90 days and lost items are not claimed, they can assist if they have a charger to match your phone. Tip number seven, Set a reminder alarm for your flight's boarding time. Some people lose track of time in an airport lounge or at a bar or shopping so that you don't miss boarding time and potentially your flight. Set that alarm. Tip number eight. If you're traveling with a carry-on luggage and a personal bag, some airlines will allow a fanny pack as an additional item but not a crossbody bag or a clutch. So if you have a crossbody bag, either try to convert it to a fanny pack around your waist, or you may be asked to fit it in your carry-on or personal bag. Tip number nine. If you mostly travel domestic, consider enrolling in TSA PreCheck. TSA PreCheck is an expedited airport security program that you can sign up for. They have their own line with an easier screening process, and the lines are usually shorter. You don't have to remove your jacket or your shoes, nor take out your electronics or liquids. So you will submit an online application, pay the $85 fee, which covers five years. Once your application is approved, then you can schedule an in-person interview where you'll take your photo and fingerprints. Now, if you mostly travel international, consider enrolling in the Global Entry Program. Global Entry expedites the customs arrival process to the U.S. and it includes TSA PreCheck. They have their own customs section with kiosk machines, so you don't have to wait in a long customs line. And it's the same enrollment process like TSA PreCheck. So you will submit your online application, but instead of $85 for five years like TSA PreCheck, Global Entry is $100 for five years. But the good thing about Global Entry is that it includes the benefits of TSA PreCheck. So you will submit your online application, pay your $100 fee for five years. Once your online application is conditionally approved, you can then schedule your in-person interview where you will take your photo and fingerprints. I will eventually record a video comparing TSA PreCheck with Global Entry and the process that I went through when I enrolled for Global Entry. But until then, you can apply to either TSA PreCheck or Global Entry using the link listed in my description. Tip number 10. Some airports don't even have TSA PreCheck available. So if you have TSA PreCheck, verify this with your departure airport in advance or before booking your trip. Well, that is all I have for today's video. But if you have any other travel tips to share, comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, 
please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Provocation, c'est ça qui commence la pagaille. La pagaille. Imitation, c'est ça qui commence la pagaille. La...